the coke is everywhere. This is the port to do something. Plus de 29 tonnes de cocaïne. 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 It's found us also cocaine. It's actually faster than food. Than food. We'll never win this battle. So these are three grams of cocaine. We're at the port of Antwerp in Belgium. This place is said to be the number one choice for cocaine smugglers trying to get their drugs into Europe. Antwerp port has grown massively over the decades. There are now 160 kilometers of quayside where ships can be unloaded. Millions of containers arrive each year from around the world, and it's a smuggler's dream. Paul Mayers was sentenced to 12 years in prison in 2007 for trafficking drugs. Oh, it was completely wrong what I did, 100%. He can understand why this port has become the gateway to Europe for cocaine. I tried also in Hamburg and we tried also in Marseille. Everything is much easier in Antwerp. Today, repentant, he worries the authorities aren't doing enough to secure the port. So he's taking us for a drive around the port is open. Like what we did now, you go inside and all the information that you need to start something, you can see yourself. You have the truck drivers, you have the people who are working there, you have the name of the boat. Now we stay here, nobody asks something. Cocaine that's getting through the port of Antwerp is now flooding the streets of the rest of Europe. And we're off to meet one user who says it's easier than ever to get hold of the drug. Uh, this man, who we're calling Matt, has been using cocaine for the past eight years. Sometimes you get messages from people you've never reached to, uh, with promotions, uh, little videos, uh, get all sorts of promotions. Okay, so I just uh, asked him, he'll be there in 19 minutes. It's just like getting food delivered, is it? Uh, it's actually faster than food delivery, because uh, they don't have to cook it. At the promised time, Matt's delivery arrives. Hello. So you got it? Yeah. It's a two plus one promotion, so that's basically what you get uh, for 100 euros. And when you're buying cocaine, you're giving your money to gangs involved in other crime, maybe prostitution, luring young women in. Do you think about that? Yeah, I feel guilt when I think about the people at the end of the chain, but I, I don't feel like uh, I'm subsidizing like prostitution when I'm doing this. Back at Antwerp ports, customs officers are seizing more cocaine than ever. This was uh, uh, wood from uh, Ecuador. I saw that the back of the truck was um, not homogeneous, so darker edges and lighter in the middle, and then they found this. So also cocaine. Most of the drugs were destined for the Netherlands to then be distributed to the UK as well as other parts of Europe. Tsunami, avalanche, uh, how you will, it's coming to us and we are trying to stop the most. Belgium Customs intercepted so much cocaine in 2022, they can't destroy it fast enough. Every year it's growing and growing and we are doing more and more controls. But only 2% of containers are physically checked. Much of the imports are perishable food that must be shifted quickly. And there's just not enough time to check everything. The recent deluge of cocaine into Antwerp has fueled a big increase in violence. Antwerp is opnieuw een granaat ontploft onder een auto die geparkeerd stond op straat. Een fusillade a eu lieu ici dans un quartier du nord de la ville portuaire. They shoot on your door with, with guns, with Kalashnikovs, or they throw grenades. This local crime reporter says gangs are targeting the homes of rivals two to three times a week. Everyone is afraid that uh, one day or another an innocent people could get hurt, maybe killed uh, by, by a, a mistake. In September, Belgium's justice minister had to go into hiding amid fears a drugs gang was about to kidnap him. The outlook is bleak. There's more cocaine, more users and more violence.